Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Thursday, May 30th, 2024. And we begin with a historical wrong righted and the playing field finally leveled. As of yesterday, Negro League statistics are officially part of Major League Baseball's historical record. The move means that the accomplishments of 2,300 previously under-recognized black players are now in the league's database, without footnotes or asterisks. The most notable change is at the top. Ty Cobb is out as the all-time batting leader, replaced by Josh Gibson, whose average was six points higher. As one historian of the game noted, baseball may be slow to change, but when it does, it can be profound. MLB will also hold a tribute game on June 20th at Rickwood Field in Birmingham, Alabama, the oldest professional baseball ballpark in the U.S., The game will include players wearing Negro League uniforms and honoring legendary center fielder Willie Mays. Bee Week is in full swing. The 96th Scripps National Spelling Bee returned to a convention center in Baltimore, Maryland this week with a champion or champions due to be crowned tonight. According to USA Today, 245 spellers from all over the country, as well as the Bahamas, Canada, and Ghana, earn their spots by advancing through regional bees. Finalists compete for cash prizes with the winner taking home $52,500. To be sure, the words aren't easy. Some of the tougher ones this year, Karatophir, Nectocalyx, and Plagiopatagium. The finals can be streamed on a variety of platforms and at spellingbee.com beginning 8 p.m. Eastern tonight. There's more good news this morning on the panda front. Just six months after three of the giant black and white bears left the National Zoo in Washington, D.C., a new pair will return. Bao Li and Ching Bao are both two years old and will arrive by year's end. They were born at the China Conservation and Research Center for the giant panda and will be flown to the U.S. by FedEx. Pandas were first sent to D.C. in 1972 to help breed and continue the species, but recent diplomatic tensions between the two countries threatened to axe the exchange. The kinks seem to be getting worked out, however, with the San Diego Zoo also expecting two new bears, possibly as early as this summer. Clear blue rivers and streams in Alaska are changing color to a rusty orange. The cause, according to CNN, is the release of metals such as iron, zinc, copper, nickel, and lead into the water as permafrost thaws and exposes the waterways to minerals locked underground for thousands of years. Authors of a study in the journal Communications Earth and Environment tested 75 locations in Alaska's Brooks Range that became cloudy and orange over the past 5 to 10 years. They said they are used to seeing similar color change in rivers close to mining areas, but not in the remote wilderness. What we believe we're seeing is the thawing of soil that's happening faster there than it would elsewhere, they said. It's really an unexpected consequence of climate change. Elusive Otter 841 is up to her old tricks. The sneaky surfboard-stealing marine mammal made a cameo at a Santa Cruz surfing contest this weekend, approaching a volunteer sitting on his board. Carl Anderley knew exactly who she was. I didn't really want her to bite me. I didn't want to be that guy fighting an otter in the middle of a surf contest. I had to maintain my cool. According to the Mercury News, 841 scooted up on the board and started chewing. So Anderley said he had no choice but to chill and pretend this is normal until she eventually slid off and swam away. 841 gained worldwide fame last summer after she was captured in photos and videos stealing surfboards and even riding a wave. She gave birth to a pup in the fall and has not been seen since December. Wildlife experts are advising fans of 841 to keep their distance. Still ahead, how a Kansas City Chiefs player is saving the world one paw at a time. But first, today's Kid News Quiz. Who is MLB's new all-time batting leader? Josh Gibson of the Negro League. Which zoo will get two new pandas by the end of the year? The National Zoo in Washington, D.C. How many spellers earned their spot to compete in the Scripps National Spelling Bee? (laughs) 
245. Where was the latest spotting of Otter 841? A Santa Cruz surf contest. In today's Kid News Kicker, he may not be the most recognized player on the Kansas City Chiefs, but he sure is a hero to the dogs. Defensive tackle Derek Noddy is known to his teammates and the community as the Dog Whisperer. According to ESPN, for every Chiefs win, Noddy pays the adoption fee of hard to place shelter dogs. Following the Chiefs' Super Bowl 54 win, he pledged to pay for the adoption of every dog in the shelter, all 109 of them. Now, part of the KC Pet Project, his generosity caught on with businesses donating money and celebrity Rachel Ray giving away a year's worth of her dog food line to each of the adopted pups. So far, there have been more than 500 naughty dogs. Two are his own, who he trains when not training himself. His inspiration? A lot of times I look at what's going on around the world and want to just uplift in a way. Before we go, shout outs to our Kid News classrooms, Mrs. Sullivan's Little Monsters at Fisher School in Walpole, Massachusetts, Mrs. V's Sharks at Shimona Creek in Downingtown, Pennsylvania, Mrs. Morrell and Mrs. Barrowetti's Dragons at Bermuda High School of Girls in Bermuda, and Mrs. Markham's Pioneers at Peak View in Penn Laird, Virginia. Thanks for listening. Please rate, review, subscribe, and share Kid News with all your friends and family. And we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.